We woke up this morning to have some company. Um, we're at anchor, but he's just sitting there swimming against the current, sitting right next to us. Been here for quite a few minutes. <laughs> awesome. It's warmer here. Is it OL boat or OLD? OLD. Yesterday we decided we'd come up to Darien, up the Darien River, to the city of Darien, and spend a couple of days here, uh, in part to do some reprovisioning. They have a small grocery store within bike riding distance of a free dock. And free docks are always good. So they have a free dock here you can stay on for 48 hours. And so we headed up the river. Now when you come to Darien, especially from the south, you've got to time the tides because the Little Mud River is shallow and so are parts of the Darien River. If you come at the wrong tide, um, you can get stuck. So, uh, so that dictates your arrival time at Darien. And unfortunately today our arrival time was at lunch and it's a Saturday. So yeah, all the little day boats are enjoying the free dock uh, which is right next to a restaurant. So they've all come here to eat lunch and have a good time, which I understand on board with them. But um, unfortunately, there's no room for us to dock. So uh, we're sitting right here, uh, right off the town. And uh, I've just dropped uh, the anchor with 50 foot of chain. We're in 20 foot of water. So never would do that overnight, but I'm sitting here keeping an eye on things and as soon as they pull out of the way, we'll pull in. We came to Darien, Georgia to do some provisioning and uh, there's a hardware store right close by the free dock. I want to get some supplies from, but um, we've been here two days already and the free dock has yet to be empty enough to Pull elixir up to. So we've been anchored out here, just sitting out in the water, watching the town, and getting a little bit of stuff done here and there. But uh, meanwhile, um, to get some of our provisioning done, I'm dinging over and uh, gonna walk the mile and a half to the grocery store. I'd much rather bicycle ride it, but uh, it's too much work to get a bike into this dinghy. So since we can't pull elixir up to the dock and put the dinghy over, I mean, put the uh, bicycle over, I'm uh, going to dinghy over and walk. <laughs> the day boats finally left. By the time I got back from the grocery store, they were gone. So that's good. And uh, hopefully that means we can pull in tomorrow morning. It's almost supper time now so we're not gonna worry about it tonight um, but as long as uh, nobody pulls in between now and tomorrow and sits here 
Um, then we'll pull in tomorrow, which will be Monday. I'm assuming the day boats were just here spending the weekend, having a good time. And uh, so that's fine. We'll wait it out. We'll pull in tomorrow and uh, all the business will be open anyway. We'll be able to get some more reprovisioning done, go to the hardware store, etc. So looking forward to that. For now, it's back to the boat and fix some supper. I've had a couple of people ask me what some of the meals are that we eat on board. Okay, so I have soaked and I'm browning some butler soy curls. Turn that off, I think they're done. Over here, I have savory herb gravy. So I'm just going to mix the um, gravy onto the chicken and then pour it, put the rice in the bowl and pour the chicken and gravy on top. Simple dinner. Well, as you probably know, the main engine on Elixir leaks oil. I keep working on it keep trying to find the leaks and stop them. It has improved over time, but she still leaks more than I'd like her to. Every morning before we get underway, I have to go down in the engine room and change out these oil absorbent pads. You see how soaked they get with oil. And I suspect one of the leaks is coming through the blow by valve and that oil is being blown through that valve. It's supposed to just be hot air, but um, I think it's oil mixed in with the hot air. And then there's no way to trap that. So uh, where the air would just mostly get sucked back into the engine and reused, um, there's nothing to force it back into the engine. So the oil just runs down the side of the engine and down into the oil pan. Uh, the, engine pan down beneath so i'm trying to come up with a solution for that i didn't invent this solution by the way i stole it from somebody on a forum uh, i wish i remembered who it was so i could give them credit but we're going to see if this works what i've done is i've taken this bucket and as you can see i've drilled two holes in the lid and put connectors on it i'm going to connect this blow by valve over to this input to the bucket um, via the hose I'm, and then a hose will come out the other side of the bucket and go into the intake manifold on the uh, the main engine hopefully what that'll do is all the oil will get trapped inside the bucket and only air will come out the other side to go back to the engine and then occasionally when i collect enough oil in this bucket i can dispose of it properly somewhere We finally got pulled up to the dock in Darien and it's lunchtime, so we're gonna go enjoy some lunch at the Blue Bay Mexican restaurant. We just found uh, this really cool little general store called the local exchange they had a little bit of everything um what, what all did you get marie i got uh some bell peppers zucchini onion um a candle a no naps candle i got some sandals 
I got I got some wildflowers for for uh, family members. Yep, they got uh, produce, souvenirs, uh, ice cream, ice cream, uh, old fashioned root beer. You can get an old fashioned root beer float. Fresh ground uh, peanut butter. Yeah. Honey, they, honey. Of honey. All they got all kinds of honey. Yeah, they got a uh, machine in there that's got uh, peanuts and chocolate in it, and you can make your own fresh ground peanut butter, chocolate mm -hmm. peanut butter. So. Or, or organic without the chocolate. Yeah. So pretty cool place called the Local Exchange, and it's right here, uh, close to the boat ramp. Oh wait, wait, wait! Wait, 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 wait! We got fresh peaches. Oh yeah, fresh peaches from South Carolina. Yep. Hmm. Aren't we in Georgia? We gotta wait for them to to, to uh, <laughs> ripen up. Yep.